do 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 I don't know if you noticed what's back there or the intro scene, but I just did my own police cars. That's because I got my own police car. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to my wife. Babe, I love you. Greatest present ever. I mean, how do you do the series police cars and not own your own police car? Well, guess what, guys? That is no longer for this channel. We officially got our own police car. Let's take a look. I know she's not much to look at, but this is the beginning stages. This is the very first look at what is to come. I'm going to be updating you guys as I get new toys, as I get new lights, as I get a new paint job, as I, well, pretty much as I get a new everything, because I don't know if you've noticed the outside of the car. Wait until you see the inside part of the car. So what you got back here is a 2009 Ford Crown Victoria CVPI. Crown Big Police Interceptor. That's right, I said it. It's a police interceptor. So it's a 2009. That means 12 years old, worked at a large agency. I, I don't know if you can tell by the decals that have been ripped off of where. I think it got a lot of work. 134,000 miles. It has a V8 engine, 4.6 liter. And most importantly, she still runs. That's what I was looking for in this car. I wasn't looking for the cream of the crop. I was looking for a car that ran because what kind of fun would it be if this car was already in pristine shape? I want us to go on a journey to build this beauty up. We gotta come up with a name. I don't know what color I'm gonna land on it. I mean, there's so much that we can do with this thing. You guys saw the outside. Why don't we take a look at the inside? see there's a lot of work to be done first of all my first idea is probably just to get this this door fixed it's the first thing that has to happen second I'm gonna need to get a car wash a really really good car wash inside and out because this is pretty nasty. So apparently what happens is whenever they're taking apart uh, all the police equipment, like the lights, the sirens, the cage and stuff, they kind of just take it apart and then leave the pieces everywhere kind of for you to fix up. Hey, I guess you're getting a good deal so you can put a little work into it. These are typically used for taxi services. So people that own taxi companies will buy these cars and then turn them into taxis. Uh, obviously put a little bit of elbow grease into it and then uh, turn it into taxis, but not us, no. We're making the Nod Squad Mobile, the Nod Squad car. I haven't really thought of a name of it yet, but we're gonna make some kind of sort of car. So there's only a couple police equipment left in here, like for instance, this spotlight. There's a little attachment on the dash right here. That's to hook a lapel mic on the back of a lapel. Slides in here and that's your in-car radio. And then up here is still like a little light. You put a little bulb in there. And that's your light there, dome light. And then obviously the back seat still has a hard seat. Now some police departments will use the hard seats back there because they're easier to clean. You can't put stuff in between the seats. So for instance, if there's a prisoner um, that might have some kind of paraphernalia on them or some narcotics and they try to stuff it in between the seat or something that the officer missed, 
hard seats prevent all of that because there's no creases, easy, easy to clean like I said, easy to wipe down, and uh, well these things aren't built for comfort, especially the back seats. Like the amount of content that could be done here in this patrol car is endless. Like think about it, I can hook up some GoPros like one here on the dash and a GoPro right there. And, and then we can do like a, a podcast, you ride along, like I bring on a guest, maybe like a famous podcaster, and then, uh, hey, speaking of, look who's here, what up, Officer Jay? What's up, Nasquad, what's, what's up, Nick? What's going on, bro, you feeling the ride or what? It's nice, this, um, Welcome yeah. to the Nod Squad car, I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, yeah, you know, we'll let the Nod Squad tell you what it's gonna be. Yeah, so, but, uh, what do you think, man? Um, Somebody put some trash in here. <laughs> hey, it's not much right now, but it's the vision, man. It's the vision. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking about like a ride along podcasty thing where there's like a GoPro here, GoPro there. Got one outside so they can see where we're going. Put one in the trunk by the back so they can see who's behind us. And then they would put one on this side of the window. How many? Put one. How many GoPros are you gonna put, and where are you gonna get them all from? I think I got like two. So, well, you know what I mean. Just angles, man. I'm talking about the angles. It's all about the angles. Okay. So, uh, what do you think, man? I mean, not to overshadow the Donut Shop podcast, because that's still a thing. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just hit 2,000 subscribers, by the way. Woo! So, uh, guys, if you don't know about the Donut Shop podcast, go check it out. It's on YouTube. The link's right here. Uh, Officer Jay is my co-host, and we do a podcast, and we talk about uh, policey things and uh, what Life, else? Life, and uh, sometimes we have comedians on there. All and... kinds of guests. Wow. Roger, Roger. Mm -hmm. uh, before becoming a cop, any jobs? Man, I sold drugs. So. <laughs> Another <laughs> one. You're on Midnight, and you're a homicide detective. Any homicide guy, I'll tell you this. In the 15 years that I was there working, I saw death every single day of my working life. I grab him like this, he urinates all over himself. The wrath has come upon you. Well, uh, thanks for showing them the vision of what it's gonna look like, and uh, I appreciate you stopping by. See you later. See you later. Can I get out? <laughs> so, I've been getting contacted by a lot of people and they wanna send me stuff to review, and I didn't have a police car uh, to review the stuff, and now I do. So now we'll be doing all kinds of gear reviews. Uh, I wanna do a segment called, what's in the police trunk, and then pop the trunk, and check out some gear. Obviously right now there's a lot of stuff still in here and I have to clean it out. Um, but boom, open it up. Gear here, we do a gear review. I know you guys like that. Uh, duty belt reviews, it's all kinds of stuff. The sky is the limit. And then finally I wanna take you guys on this journey. This journey that we are about to embark on that I'm gonna take you guys on. Not only are we going to be talking about actual police cars that are out at different agencies, but I want to do a whole workup and the whole journey of building this car back up and making it the awesome crown thick that it is. The CVPI, the most requested car that you guys have been requesting in the comment section below. So if you have any ideas that you guys want me to do or want to see, please put it in the comments below. Uh, this basically for you guys. So I want to know what you want to see. With that being said, tons more stuff to come. Police car episodes, gear reviews, a donut shop podcast. Again, go check that out. I'm pretty sure I'll get some suggestions from you guys down below in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Are you digging the new ride? Tell me what you want to see. I haven't uh, showed the engine yet, but it's, it's running good. I just don't have anything to prop that hood open because the shocks of the engine are, are a little out. There's a lot of work to be done here, okay guys? Cut me a break. We'll see the engine soon. All right, with that being said, see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, I'll be cruising around in that thing. Then I'll see you. Car.